Well, so you've seen all of my silver coins and whatnot. I guess you haven't, but you haven't seen me silver spoons. And by the way, none of these ones on here are silver. These are all the ones. So I only have one st sterling silver Peru on it. Uh, it's marked with 925. It's very tiny. But you can see that down there. This is 925. No, so it's sterling. Everything else is just silver plated here. So there's the international silver with the IS mark. And then 1847 Roger Bros. And commemorative project products Le limited Canada. Um, and this one. SP, so silver plated. Well, these ones I'll just say silver plated. Should probably show you. Spoon. This one's, this one's bigger, 1967. And 25th anniversary. It's a kind of ironic. There's two bags of these collector spoons on at a church rummage sale. Uh, so, 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 like they sold them these two bags. Um, probably about this big. In fact, this might actually be one of the bags. You know. I'm not sure about that. Uh, spoons for 50 cents per bag, so, and this was in one of them. Uh, and then this one just says silver plated steel. Bam. And Terry Fox Memorial Thunder Day. Somebody actually just gave this to me. So I just want to my silver and silver plated uh, spoon collection. Um, hope to see you soon. So goodbye. Maybe in a later video I'll show you, like I'll go through individually every spoon on here. So I'm missing just a couple, a couple of spoons for in this rack. There's two spaces. So there's three uh, slots, spaces for the spoons that are kind of broken, but whatever. See you in the next video. Goodbye. Okay, so it's bank. Got a 2012 increment US nickel, so that will complete a roll of nickels, because before there was only a roll of US nickels, by the way. Uh, or there's only 39 in there, and now there's 40. And 1982, I think it's Philadelphia, the mint works kind of smudge. Um, US. Here. And before, I didn't know where the mint mark was on, uh, my 1943 US quarter. So, uh, so I possibly wrong, wrongfully said that it was no mint marks so or Philadelphia mint. So I was thinking that the mint mark was right around here. But apparently it's on the other side. Okay, there still is no mint mark on there. And is it supposed to be? Right under here. Just above the ER and quarter. But yeah, this still isn't anything. So never mind that. I haven't gotten any, anything else recently, although I might be getting some more coins from bigger sausages and more. If, see if we just bought a whole bunch of 
um, halves and improved stats and what and silver dollars. So if he has doubles of anything, he'll sell them. So I might be buying some more now. But so if I do, I'll let you know. But so until next time, goodbye. Oh well, my four coin albums came in today. They're a lot smaller than I thought. But this one I'm gonna give to the guy. Probably gonna give to the guy. Uh, if the sausage guy where I buy most of my coins besides eBay. Uh, 1870 to 1910. Like, like that's a very low chance of getting it. That bank. Uh, then quarters 1911 to 1952. I'm going to keep because there is a small chance I'm going to get those. Uh, uh, but like I currently don't have anything. I don't have anything in that yet. Ah. My dimes. It's 37 too. Worked it out to 1995. Uh, so it's 37 to 1995. Uh, I do have a 46, but I don't know where it is, so I'm going to put that in there later. Uh, I don't have any doubles put in the uppers. Same thing on here. Uh, but I do have a 58 and a 60, both of which I got at the bank. This one, coin roll hunting. That one right just sat in the drawer. Uh, then this is a double from 1976. Uh, 67. And I'll end the Sorry about that. Uh, hornet flew in the house. I have to get that out. Uh, so, 1967 I have. I, I don't have a 1968 silver, but I do have a 1968 nickel. I haven't got that one in there yet. And then I think I have 69.70. I'm going. I'm going to the bank right away to see if uh, <laughs> to see if there's anything. <laughs> if they have any of these, then I have the 71. 72, no 73 yet, 74 through 76, 79 and 81. Don't have anything else. Here. And then half dollars, 37 to 1960. Uh, don't have any, oh, don't have any Georgia 6 from 37 to 45. However, I do have, I don't have any of these, of course I don't have any of these, uh, uh, nothing through there. I do have the 51, you might recognize that as my profile picture on YouTube and Google Plus if you ever use that. Uh, no, no 1952. <laughs> Like I said before, I don't have any doubles for the inverse. Uh, nothing through, nothing through here. Except I do have a 58. Uh, I have to find that one. So, but anyways, this is what I got off of eBay. I'm still waiting for my bank note holders. They came in. They're coming in from China. So, yeah. But like I said, I'm going to bank right away. Uh, well, soon, so I can hopefully I can get some more dimes. I doubt I'll get any half dollars or uh, quarters for here, but we'll see. So, anyways, I'll see you next time and goodbye. Hello, welcome to my featured coins. I <coughs> um, went to the bank today and. I got this 1968 50% silver coin quarter. 
uh, not in very good shape, so it's not worth anything more than the bullion value, but uh, but it's still silver, so we'll hang on to that to add to my silver collection, so it's probably worth a dollar. Got it for 25 cents. Not in 20 cents in, Amer in American. I actually got this stuff yesterday. Um... 1996 Philadelphia, uh, 2012 Denver, and it's a nice shape, but the cladding isn't doesn't look exactly new. But so I'm just trying to 2006 Denver. So I'm, I'm just trying. To, I don't think I can focus that. Uh, you go. You know. Um, nickels left over. Um, because I bought nine dollars and fifty-two cents in Arizona iced teas. So, for those of you who don't know, that's eight. So, because they don't make them anymore, and they're the best. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and. In the next little clip here, I will show you a how to tell if this is uh, if this was minted in Philadelphia or um, Ottawa, and I'll tell you right now it was minted in Philadelphia. I'm, like I'm almost completely sure. So I'll see you in the next clip. Okay, so I went to the bank today and I got a whole bunch of dimes for my dime book, uh, and we also had another, I'm not sure if this is 50 or 80 percent silver, but it's silver indeed, it's, um, the centennial dime, uh, so I can replace the one for the obverse, uh, Damn, they keep on pulling out. Uh, this one's made of nickel, so I can replace it with the silver. Uh, so, yeah. That was nice. Um, I'll do that later. And I got this auger. It's this hand auger, auger thing. Drill whatever you want to call it, that my cat seems to be enjoying. Hmm. I'm going to sire if I'm done. Uh, and other dimes, and other years on dimes include, um, 1992, so I can get a be better verse for this one, that's 2002p, so not for appropriate for uh, 89, 86, um, 75, 88, 74, and I think another 88. And yesterday I found this 1947 Maple Leaf Penny laying out on the sidewalk. I think it was mine to begin with, but I'm not sure how it got there. Okay, so I'm not excited anymore because he can't play. He's not playing. But earlier today I went to the convenience store to get a Forget what I got. But in the parking lot I found two, two unreadable pennies. But I think this one says 2005, but I'll have to check what this one says. Wait, wait. 2007. Yeah, 2007. 2005, 2007. So they're not old. They're not in great shape, but they're pennies. Ah. Uh, 
and also yesterday got these December 1999 and Maine 2003 US State Quarter Denver Mint and uh, Wales Non-colorized 2011. Not Wales. Uh, some parks, Canada, Canada thing. And then the day before yesterday, got these two. Yukon um, provincial quarter. 1992. 1969 for my collection, and then two for the grain elevator. If you can't see those. It's 74, 1974, 1978. The grain elevator. So that'll be a nice addition to my collection. And got a new uh, box for my. Put the rolls of coins and I can put a lock on it now. Uh, so, yeah, that was nice to find. It was only like 25 cents. No, this one's 50 cents. And I'm gonna temporarily put my bank notes in this one. This one's only 25 cents. That. Hello, welcome to my featured coins. Uh, so I went to today. I went to a yard sale, and it was just going by like whatever you uh, thought it was worth. So I got a whole bunch of stuff for well, not very much stuff, but uh, again, some stuff for a total of four dollars. Including these uh, half penny um, earrings, which I'm pretty sure aren't real. This first of all, portrait of Queen Elizabeth. The fact that it isn't hold, but has a little bit coming out and uh, when not? Uh, mm -mm. It's gold, or what I'm assuming is. Some kind of knockoff of gold plating. Yeah, they both are stamped 67. This one the plating has rubbed off on, but this one still has almost all of it. So I just figured I might as well take those. Okay. Kind of cool. I also got an old Coca Cola glass. Some new speakers. Um, I think won't be as good as these, but they'll still work. Uh, and some other stuff. Then I was buying an Arizona iced tea. By the way, apparently they don't make those anymore. So kind of rare to find. Mm. Uh, and change I got well a regular 2010 nickel and this um, took a mesh um correct me if I'm saying that wrong um frosted quarter from two, 2012 okay. so anyways that's today's finds um So, I guess this is it for, well, because I haven't probably made part one, like at this point, I've only made part one and two, so I'm not sure what part of this, the make a compilation. Um, so I'm not sure what part, part this is going to be. And then, um, this is probably going to be the end of it. So I'll see you in either the next part or in the next video. So goodbye. Oh, I was looking for oh. my cat after he got chased by neighbor's dog.
didn't find uh, didn't find him, but I did find this quarter from Cuba. Uh, we have Trinidad, the Cuban city, not the country. Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, the Alberta man in the reverse. This is Republica de Cuba. The Cuban Republic. Republic of Cuba, I guess. And um, Bendecinco Centavos. So, uh, 25 cents. 2008. And the Cuban Shield. So, that's was kind of cool to add to my foreign coin collection. Assuming it got it dropped or something. And we're coming home from I was coming home from Cuba back in November. So that was kinda cool. So we'll see you in the next clip or next video. No. Hello, welcome to my featured coins. This is part of the the part of the mega compilation. Uh a while ago I was cleaning my room and I found this roll of pennies under uh, my bed. So it looks like there's some older toned ones in here. But then there's a 2012 end and a uh, verse of, that was used from 2003 to 2012. Uh, so yeah, I'll let you know if I find anything. Uh, too, too spectacular or whatever. So, anyways, let's get started. In this, so in the roll, we have this 1946 Canadian penny. Doing the Canadian ones first. It's just Canadian and American there. Uh, 1956 and 1959. Then lots of 60s, so 62. Uh, four sixty-threes. So some, so there's some luster on it. But then, nineteen sixty-fours here. And then no sixty-fives or sixty-sixes, but there's three sixty-sevens. Then two sixty-eights. And three sixty-nines. And then a seventy-six in beautiful condition. And the 70 and not so much. Uh, and then 82, 87, uh, 87 and 84. And then, uh, these are the 2000s ones. So there's the 2000s, two 2003s. And both of them are have the P composition marks. But nothing until two, no pennies until um, the dates 2004 through two, uh, 2009. Then there's these four 2010s. Then there's six, uh, six 2011s, and then the 2012 is on the end. Then for the US, there's a 1959D, 1963D, and this 1959 is uh, the first year of the Lincoln Memorial sent. And 1963D, 1966, no men marks, so Philadelphia, 64D, six, uh, two 64Ds, and then 1960, no men mark. Then for the Wheaties, we got four. Uh, 1958 D, the last year of the, the last year of the wheat tent. And then, a 1945 no mint mark, 1940 no mint mark, and 1949 D. So, yeah. So that's all the pennies I got in that roll. So, I'm not sure when I rolled them. I know it was after... My dad decided, after my cat decided to pee in the penny box, and my dad decided to clean it with vinegar. So, that's what this damage is on them. Um. So, 
Yeah, thanks for watching. Okay, before I show the uh, roll results, well, actually, I've already filmed the roll results at this time. Uh, I found them at like 6.09. I want to show you what I got at the bank. So 94D US quarter. The 2007 PE, so Philadelphia. So in Denver. Um, dime and then uh, East, Car East Caribbean, or Caribbean States. Uh, year 2000, Dime. So, Tinsons. Yeah. Queen yeah. 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 Elizabeth II in the back. They're, apparently they're still using this uh, verse in 2000. They updated it already. So, That's what I got. So here's the roll results. 